Well, hello world. Welcome back again to the Unchristian Podcast. Excited to be here this uh, day with you. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time uh, tuning in, please press that subscription button there on the YouTube channel. Please like, share uh, this episode and the channel to other people as well. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Dase, how are you? I'm good. Dase, how are you doing? Oh, great stuff. Welcome. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Um, mm. And today we are having a wonderful wonderful guest uh who is doing great things out there i'm excited i'm uh, very excited <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> it's going to be an unusual extraordinary <laughs> conversation mm. um on the subject of love and marriage uh life partnership also and uh, we're going to deal with these issues of course in the unchristian podcast way <laughs> yes. yes and uh, none other uh, with us today is Dr. Mashudu Mbezi. Uh, thank you so much, Doc. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for inviting me. Yes, it's an honor for us to have you. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. making the time indeed. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Marriage is a, a topic that you are passionate about. Yes. Uh, relationships and, and, mm. and, and, and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about your background, uh, your, even your family background and all of that. And just uh, who is Dr. Mashudu Mbez? Uh, Dr. Mashudu Mbez is just an ordinary man, a child of God, a servant of God. Yes. And then I grew up praying for people and I was still very young. Yeah. I think uh, that calling made me to meet a lot of people uh, all over. I uh, spent most of my time in La Pezzo, Lawana, say Pretoria, worked in Mozambique, Swaziland, and mm. I think I've, I, I've met so many people in life through God's grace. Yes, mm. yes. I think that ability to, to, you need to learn and know other people better. Mm -hmm. But when you have that uh, kind of saying, you know God, it opens doors for you, live, yeah. live, beating different people in different pro professions. Yes, yes. But I like the concept of education because it opens your mindset and right. it makes you to grow. Yes, yes. When yes. you go to cool and become mm. a better person. Mm, mm. So I've written globally, Switzerland, India, contribution to chapters, academic mm. chapters. Uh, articles, yes. which meaning you are writing, uh, writing at the what we call peer review at yes. the highest level. Okay, okay. And you've got uh, some books that you have written. Mm -hmm. The first one that we have in our hands, and I was so excited when I heard you speak about this uh, yes. on on one of the television pr uh, stations. Mm. Um, married, but intimately divorced. Divorce. Yeah. You didn't hear that, and you said it again. <laughs> <laughs> married. <laughs> but intimately divorced. Yes. My goodness. What does marriage mean for you, Bob? Marriage, uh, let's start, uh, marriage is, is a beautiful concept. Yeah. Uh, it's a gift of loving someone and sp uh, spending your rest, the rest of your life with someone that you love. Mm. But unfortunately, it doesn't go like that. But my yeah. argument of saying married but intimately divorced, when you say you, you, you love someone, meaning there's a connection, mm to say there's a certain fire or spark that makes you to love someone that yeah. you don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To an extent that you say, hey, I want to make this person a takeaway and <laughs> yes. I stay with that person. You can't sleep before you say, yeah. uh, talk to them yeah. in the yeah. evening. Yeah. But when that fire moves away, mm. technically I'm saying you are divorced. I see. Because you're separated. Mm. So now when Although you... Although you're still living together. You are living together physically so, yeah. mm. but intimately you are gone. Mm. Meaning goodness. you no, you are no longer there. Yeah. You are there for certain reasons, mm. be it assets, kids, if there are any, or yeah. children and so forth. Uh, or you. fear of the unknown to say it's better the devil that I know than someone that yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very complicated and it's very sad because you are living. That's why I say a, a bedroom is an intimate prison, meaning you are imprisoned in, in your own space. Mm. When you Ish. think of saying, uh, I want to go home, maybe you are at work, you say, hey, this, that's a problem, I'm calling Kata, so I'm yeah. going back to hell. Mm. And when your partner calls you during the day, you say, I wonder what the devil is, is looking for. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> phone pass. Hey, hey. So you you now have a, a problem. The, there's no longer communication yeah. intimacy. Yeah. And you, you are sitting with an elephant in the room. Mm. My and you are sitting with someone that, that's why I'm saying you are imprisoned for mm. how long we don't know. Hey. Mm. 
Mm. T- tell me, doctor, are there specific traits that make a marriage where you can say, because now my question um, about, especially the, 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 this book, married but intimately divorced, is it still marriage if there's no intimacy? Are there specific traits whereby we say when there is one, two, three, four, that means that is a marriage. And therefore, if this is taken away, it is no longer marriage. It's, uh, yeah. That's a good question. You, the, const- the institution of marriage will mm. say you are still married. The institution but of marriage. But your lifestyle is no longer that of marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're no longer living a quality life that you expect it to mm. be. Mm. Meaning, your, your, your marriage has died. Mm. So it's no longer marriage. It's, it, no, no it, you, it, it's no longer marriage, a quality marriage mm. that you deem or expect it to be. Mm. Meaning you are in prison, so it's toxic. Mm. Depend, depending on the level of toxicity in your relationship, yeah. what are the issues that you are now faced with? Mm. You were saying you know this person, but you say, "Hey, I wish I knew." Mm. Hey, hey. And uh, otherwise, I was going to say, I wish I knew this person. Mm. That's why as I discuss in the book to mm. say, strangers in marriage, you are married to someone. Most people don't know each other. Mm. The fact that I love you does not mean that I really understand or know you better. Mm. Mm. Because the institution of marriage relationship is saying, I must learn to love you and know you better. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you have got a child does not mean that you know them or yeah. know what they're going through. Yeah. Mm. Similarly, the fact that I'm married to you the fact that I'm married to you does not mean that you you love me. Yeah. Mm. I might I might need you. You might prioritize me, but only to find that I take you as an option. Mm. Mm. Therefore, what is the quality of marriage? Mm. Mm. I need sure. you, but I don't love you. Mm. Mm. So mm. you mm. might mm. be needed, but not loved. Wow, wow, that, that, <laughs> that is deep, that, <laughs> that is deep right there. Because sometimes it sounds romantic yeah. Yeah. to say, oh, I need you, I need you. But it, it can be toxic as well because yeah. it doesn't mean that I really love you and care about you. Mm. Mm. Uh, it means I have identified that you meet a particular need yes. in my life and I will keep you around mm. for that long. But, you know, Doc, when, when many people come into marriage, when many of us go into marriage, we go into it, I'll say, with rose-tinted glasses. Mm. We're expecting it to be happy. Mm. We never expect to be intimately divorced mm. or formally divorced for that matter. Yes. Mm. W- what happens? Where does it start to break down where we are now intimately divorced? It's very complicated. Mm. Uh, sometimes you'll find that the truth kicks in. Uh, mm. Remember when you start to meet someone, you've got feelings, you're using your, your... I normally say don't use your feelings mm. or emotions to decide. Mm. Mm. Use your mindset. Right, right. When there are challenges or if you want to va- evaluate the person that you have, take your f- feelings and put them in a deep freezer and check the character. <laughs> that's yes, the mistake pack them that, aside. Yeah, that's the mistake that we make to say when you see someone that you love, we look at the, how they are dressed, what they're yeah, driving. We yeah. don't check the real character mm. and the well-being of the person, the maturity level. Right, mm. right, right. I might look old only to find that I behave like a, a kid, mm. like a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A child at, 20, at 15 reasons much better than me at 50 or 60. Sure, mm. yeah. So you need to understand to say, what are you faced with? Mm. And uh, now, when you are realizing these, should we call them red flags? Yes. Mm. What, what tools are used at the time? You to confront the issues head on with your partner to say, I'm starting to feel this way. Other people don't feel mm. uh, that they can even talk about these mm. things because communication is very deep. And I, I know you've got uh, you know, great thoughts on communication as well, mm. but communica- the communication level is not there yes. where I can just plainly say something. I'm, I'm scared mm. to hurt you. I'm <laughs> yes. scared to uh, disappoint myself even. Mm. You know, what do we do when we start seeing these red flags, when the spark starts dying? I think the main thing is to learn to love each other and learn to know each other better. All right. And remember, the mistake that we make once we get into marriage, in a relationship, we take a back seat, mm. assuming that things will function on an autopilot. Mm. Ish. I normally define marriage or relationship as mm. driving in one car going different directions mm. because mm. your mm. visions mm. and expectations are not mm. known. Mm. Maybe they have not been defined. Mm. So see. you need to know to say, what is it that you want to achieve in your relationship? Right. Right. What is it that you need to work 
in building your relationship. Mm. Mm. Learn to have have that kind of most relationships don't have the concept of friendship. Right. Mm. Because right. that keeps you together in terms of the different seasons of your marriage or relationship. Sure. Mm. When you face challenges you're able to talk to each other and engage each other mm. Mm. in a non uh, without judging each other mm. Mm. and mm. the ability to communicate at any level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Remember a wife needs a husband at home not a manager a senior manager yeah similarly so to a husband that's correct so i should be able to adjust and be a husband or be a partner be a wife at home mm. yeah. in a home setup mm. remove your egos not to say i'm a christian and my culture does not allow me to wash place it shows that i'm no longer man enough mm. you play your role as a man or as a woman mm. Mm. There are partners who be end up yeah. be sitting their part partners because you play a role of both of a husband and wife or wife husband or either way sure. mm. because the other partner is not playing their role. Yeah. So how then do you expect the marriage uh, to function or to be successful yeah. because yeah. Yeah. the other pa- person is taking your energy away. Mm. You are married in community of property mm. but the other partner is wasting the resources of marriage. Mm. Mm. And when you divorce mm. is in community of whose property? Hey, yeah. whose property? <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me doctor. Yeah. Wow, okay. I'm thinking as you speak is there a way to avoid this? I am not married. But yes. I'd love to get married one day. Mm. Is there some traits, character traits yeah. that I should embody mm. and therefore that I should be looking out for from a partner before I embark on a journey of marriage? Should yeah. should I get married again? <laughs> that you will. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's interesting. The first thing is that you need to know who are you? You need to know yourself. There are people who want to be understood but they don't understand themselves. themselves. Wow. There are people who want to be loved but they don't love themselves. Mm, 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 mm. Do you know who you are? Do mm. you love yourself? Do you really when you say I want a man like this or a woman like this? Mm. At what standard who are you? Mm. Because you are you are bringing in expectations yeah. without your own. Mm. Mm. So therefore how do you understand there are people who want to be respected but they don't respect other people. Wow. So as much as I want to be loved I need to the best person is to love you is yourself. Mm. Understand yourself uh, it doesn't matter the road that you've tra- traveled issues that you went through but deal with your baggage and offload mm. oh. so that you know that wherever I'm going I'm not going to use the same principles and challenges that I faced to an innocent person mm. who has nothing to do with mm. what I went through mm. Mm. but therefore I normally say learn what your challenges have come to teach you mm. to say what is what are the les- lessons learned from what I ex- I I I I, fa- I was faced with. Mm. There was a purpose for you to go through those challenges. Mm. I mean if I a Christian you'll understand to say if Jesus faced all the wobam tuga ba menza gonge long gonge lok he was insulted who am i mm. to not want to go through to not to avoid the, so it's not a, a matter of avoidance challenges yeah. are expected yeah. it's 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 a learning process but from there what kind of me building material are you what are you made of mm. it's a matter of getting out of the situation and becoming a better person mm. but therefore you need to understand to say you are living your life you live once you die once you don't owe anyone any expectations mm. whatever people are saying bad or good about you people will say whatever they want yeah. but remember whatever they say defines their level of thinking yeah mm. but this is who i am yeah. but therefore it does not avoid you learning from what they are saying to say i can do things better wow, wow. that's amazing that's it amazing it is it is all yeah. right uh, therefore what i'm hearing you say is it is important for me to do the inner work yes and heal yeah. any childhood traumas i mm. may have before i can introduce somebody else to my life mm. all right mm. i i i, I think you. understand the, the your emotions and learn to deal with them it's a process mm. but it doesn't stop you from getting someone mm. but have a uh, deal with your issues get counseling yeah. get someone to talk to mm. but acceptance is one Mm. accept that you are faced with a challenge mm. and don't try to suppress those feelings mm. if it says you must cry you need to cry as much as you can right. mm. if it means that you must get mad you need to, it goes with the issue of emotional intelligence yeah. the ability to control your emotions and those of others yeah. Mm. Yeah. to say you don't there are certain people who say hey this person is a christian 
but he's the worst devil that you can ever find. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I am known to be the best father outside, yeah. but in my own household, I'm the worst devil to my children. Hey. Mm. So it depends. Who are you? Mm. Mm. Can, can we then say that marriage is for two complete healed individuals? Uh, is that correct to say? Because that's what we, it's, it's I called. Was, I'll, I'll say yes and no. Mm. Okay. No in a sense to say I might be facing my challenges but mm. not healed but learning and dealing with my issues mm. without affecting the relationship. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But healed in a sense to say you have decided to commit, mm. Mm. then you must learn to love and commit into the relationship. Don't bring garbage to say... Uh, uh, I've not healed, so this is what I faced before. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Healed in a sense of saying, whatever baggage I had first has nothing to do with, I restart from scratch. Right. This is where right. we start from point zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we reset the kilometers mm -hmm. going forward. Mm -hmm. Then correctly so. Oh, that's great. Awesome. In chapter one of the book, you, you already mentioned this topic to say the bedroom has become an intimate prison. Now, the bedroom, you know, lovemaking, sex, that is supposed to be an intimate, spiritual, beautiful experience. Yes. Man, there are people I know for sure who, whom, who hate the bedroom because it is not these things. Yeah. It has become <laughs> a prison. Others are not satisfied. Yes. What, what, how does one break this prison <laughs> of the bedroom? <laughs> I normally say sleeping patterns don't lie. <laughs> right. The way you sleep defines the kind of relationship you are faced with. Sure. All right. Huh. Uh, some people sleep in uh, spare bedrooms. Mm. Some talk about it. Talk. Some <laughs> say in the sitting room. Someone says I don't close my eyes during the night because I don't trust my partner. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a beautiful enemy in your relationship wow. yeah. <laughs> because you've you've seen things. Uh, traits and behaviors that you are afraid. People die mm. out of these issues. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, in December, we've seen most children, some people taking the lives of innocent ch mm, children. Mm. So remember your emotions. Once you become reactive, some, most of the time psychologists say men are reactive. Right. Mm. Unlike women. Yes. Uh, so it, it depends on the challenges that you are facing to say, when you are in a bedroom, when someone touches you, you feel like they're abusing. Someone says, mm. uh, when my partner makes love to me, it's like they're raping me. Imagine. Uh, someone says, my partner does not want to make love to me, so I end up raping him or her mm. so mm. that I want to make love. So you can yeah. see how damaged society mm. is. Mm. Because remember, making love, is a, you need two people. There must be two of you. Yes, mm. yes. You can't yes. make love to yourself. Oh, you can. Otherwise, yeah. there's something wrong with the psychology. <laughs> so the issue is you need to understand that you are are engaging with someone's feelings yes, so you need yes. them to be there not so just not just their someone body. will end up saying mm. i just and when they are making you no longer remember when you start it's romantic mm. you make love yes. but when the love is gone you have sex because mm. it's procedural mm. sure. just do it and finish yeah yeah because it's all about now you. it's a formality now it's a formality because it has to be done mm. sure. not to satisfy and most people don't communicate sexually yeah. that's why most relationships it doesn't matter whether they're cultural or christian mm. but once you are not sexually co sex satisfied there is a feelings don't eat grass mm. Mm. you need to address those issues and communicate to say my yes. love this is how i think should things should be done but yes. there's a problem the yeah. issue is once my partner says uh, I want us to do things this way. Sure. Mm. Then the issue is, where did you learn that from? Yeah, yeah. You that's, had another man, you had another, you had another woman. That's right. That's so right. there is a problem of communication and lack of maturity. Mm. Uh, if you don't play your role and satisfy your partner, you will be replaced. Sure. You will be replaced. You will be replaced. It doesn't you know, matter how long uh, it takes. Uh, you will be replaced. You, eventually because, you will be. Because feelings don't eat grass. That person is human. Mm. Mm. There is no drive-through for feelings mm. or drive-through for sex or care or mm. understanding or tolerance. Mm. 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 Wow, you will be replaced. Oh, yeah, doctor, <laughs> th there's, there's a question that I have for you. But, but, but before I ask you that question, Ndifunukwa <laughs> Azuba, is there, in your line of duty, if I were to put it that yes. way, is there the one thing that tops them all that becomes the reason for people to divorce? The top of the range, the very first one. 
above all cli your clientele when they come to you? What is the one common problem that most married couple have? It's complicated. I won't say one, but it's, okay. remember it's multidimensional mm. okay. because all other things fit into each other. Okay. Right. Like if, if I can explain that to say, okay, you, you, this parents say you love them. Love is not enough. Mm. You love them, but they don't respect you. I love you, mm. but I don't trust you. I mm. love you, but I can't commit. I love you, but I'm lying. I love you, but um, I, I, I don't play my role. You see how mm. complicated it mm. is. Mm. But the main thing that you find is there is no trust in a relationship. Trust. Trust goes with trust. committing trust. into trust. A, loving someone, mm. uh, playing your responsibility. I want to make love to you in the evening. Mm. But I failed in the afternoon to, to play my role, to say, you said I must pick up the kids and bring them home, but I did not do that. Mm. Already your feelings are damaged. Mm. Mm. The trust is gone. Mm. You said I must do this in the afternoon, but I did not do that. Yeah. Mm. I say, I told you what is affecting me psychologically, but you told your family or your friends. Yeah. Mm. Then how do I trust you? How do I love you? Okay, I... You, you say it, I must do one, two, three, but I don't love you, ki love the kids. I love to make love to you. You see how complicated sure, it is. Sure, mm. sure. So the issue of trust is one in mm. a relationship. Mm. And trust goes with love, commitment, the ability to sacrifice for other people. Mm. I, you, I, you always sacrifice for me, but I can't do the same for you. Mm. It's your birthday, but I always think about myself. Mm. Wow. My money works for my own things, but mm. I want you to be loving to me how do you do that mm. wow wow oh wow <laughs> with that being said with that being said i once came across uh, i think it was an update on social media right. where it was saying that there are certain people who are not supposed to be married yes and <laughs> it's, you like, agree with it's, that? it's like you read this book <laughs> lovely so I, I want to come to you now, uh, yes. Doctor, and ask you, what are those people, what, what are the traits, the character traits of people that are just not supposed to, to be married? Somebody is, is watching, somebody is yeah. listening, and this is an opportunity for them to look, uh, do an introspection and decide, yes. am I the type to be married or am I not? I, I might be sitting here saying that I'd like to get married again. I must mention again. again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it may happen that in the actual fact, I need to do the inner work myself and I fall mm. under the list of people that are not meant to be married uh, is, is it when you answer that question can you also tell me is it is it people that can work on them is it something that is workable mm. because like I said I came across this on social media and, the, and this person was saying there are people that are not meant to be married and this person mentioned that narcissists are one of those people mm. Mm. they didn't go any further but I, I'd like to pose this question to you to say uh, I think let, let me go back to the Bible so that it should not be say it's me all right. <laughs> when Abraham yeah. wanted uh, 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 the wife of Isaac, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, yeah. he, he, he chose, he, he called a senior servant to say, don't go to this tribe, but go to this one, mm. because you'll never get a good wife. Mm, mm. But there's a test that you must do. Mm. When you get there, ask the lady for water for the camels. All right. But the lady went an extra mile to say, I will give you water to drink, but also for the camels. Mm. 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 Now, what I'm saying is, there are certain people, I won't say there are people who are supposed to be married or not, mm -hmm. but I will say there are people who will be good in, in, marriage. in marriage and those who are not good. Yeah. In a sense that some people will never change. Because they are like that. Mang abeng nengi zwembi, I will never change because mm. this is who I am. Mm. If if ngi nengka ni and I realize guti ngi nayo, but I don't want to change, mm. then how do you change me? Because change goes with the ability and acceptance to change. Yes. Yes. So it's an issue of saying, what is the level of maturity in your marriage? Yeah. Okay. What is the level of your emotional control mm. in your marriage? Mm. When you talk about, do I understand what love is? Mm. My understanding of love and that of yours might be different. Mm. Mm. Now, I talk in my, one of my books to say 25 types of relationships. One of them being convenience. Mm. And the other sure. one is a love marriage. Mm. Sure. I'm coming with the concept of saying, I love you. Mm. But on the other hand... 
I'm there to say, what do I get from this marriage? Yeah. Convenience. Convenience. So there are two visions and objections. Mm. To say, I'm there for love, but I'm there for what I have to get. Right. Mm. So the vision is different. Mm. So you need to understand to say, as much as you love each other, in what kind of relationship are you? Mm. Are you there for love? Are you there for convenience? Mm. 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 That's why most relationships or marriages mm. don't last, because people... People live a lie. That's why I talk about the pressure from social media that we mm. get. People live to please other people. They com Most partners, instead of complimenting each other, they compete with each other. Mm. 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 Because mm. I want to prove that I'm better than you. Mm. I want to prove that my family is better than you. Mm. Mm. I want to prove that I, I, can be, I do things better than you. Mm. Forgetting that you are supposed to be a team. Yeah. Mm. It's not a power struggle here no. in the marriage. Yeah. You are there. It's like making love. You synchronize each other in feelings. Mm. You can't therefore say you are kissing each other white with eyes wide open and shouting <laughs> each, each other. There's something wrong with the mindset. Mm. Yeah. So it's a concept of saying, what is it that you want to achieve in a relationship? You. But therefore, as a person, are you mature enough to function in the love environment? Yeah. Mm. To function in, in a way in a way that you can build your relationship mm. can you understand yourself and understand someone can you respect yourself mm. and respect it's a like the bible says yeah. the ability to tolerate and to be humble most people become very stubborn they're people who are stubborn by nature mm. Mm, mm, mm. They want to control their families, and when they get into marriage, they want to control their husband, wives, and the families of the husband and wives. Mm. So how then do you become relevant to the relationship? Yeah. You are not. Yeah. Then you are in a wrong institution. Mm. Mm. It's not for you. It's not for you. Yeah. So the problem yeah. is about you, not the relationship or the marriage as an institution. Mm. There's nothing wrong with the Christianity or tradition. Mm. But the person in functioning or applying it might be wrong. Mm. 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 Absolutely. Mm. Can I take advantage of you? <laughs> next to I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm he's here, here for that. <laughs> and say, am I, am I right if I say for myself yes. now? Uh, I've decided that when I do meet somebody and get married again, mm -hmm. I'm definitely going for somebody that is kind. That is top like top of what the that list. is like priority yeah, priority top priority kind that, in what way somebody who is kind to me mm -hmm. somebody who is kind to other people somebody who is kind to people who will do wh whom he, he 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 doesn't have anything to benefit from okay uh for me that is a trait that is very important because it is also me. I'm also like that. Okay. And I've realized that I never functioned well mm. in, in my previous marriage because uh, in that area, there was an imbalance. Mm. Okay. And so am I correct to put it that way for myself to say, okay, Nandiba, now that you're planning to get married again in future, uputi mm. be kind. In, in fact, it's, 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 if he is not kind, that is my deal breaker. Deal breaker. Mm -hmm. I'm not going that way. <laughs> yeah. He should be kind. Am I right to, to say that for it, myself? It, it should not be a standalone aspect, but mm -hmm. it should mm. form one part, part of that which you want. Okay. A bigger but picture. But don't set higher standards because I might be kind, but not honest. All right. I might be kind, but not trustworthy. Mm. Mm. I yeah. might be kind, mm. but selfish. I might be kind, but uh, living a lie. Mm. So, so you're saying that we can be looking at the trees but being blind to the forest. Yes. <laughs> Meaning that I see yes. what I want and what is important to me, yeah. but then I'm blind to the, rest. to the rest. I'm saying don't look at one aspect, mm. but have a multidimensional concept to say, okay, he's kind, but he's lacking in one, two, three. Mm. But have a sense of saying, but learn to know each other better. Mm. My, sometimes I might not be kind, mm. but loving with everything that you need. Mm. But you can teach me to be kind. Mm. Women mm. have the beautiful aspect of teaching us as men to be better. Mm. Absolutely, and I agree. And to be better husbands and better boyfriends. Mm. Mm. Depending on how you carry yourself as a woman, mm. the ability to change a man 
is how you carry yourself mm. Mm. as a woman. Mm. I have seen so many people who have husbands who don't go to church, mm. but the husbands end up coming to church because how, what yeah. they've seen in their house yeah. projecting themselves. Yeah. Mm. So how you carry and exhibit yourselves changes the mindset and makes you a man. The secret is for those who are not married, how you carry yourself make a ma makes a man to commit all right. Or to marry you. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. if you are stubborn as a woman, yeah. mm. then I've got a problem with that. Sure. I can, you can love a, a, a man 200%, but if you don't respect them, mm. they will leave you. Mm. Mm. Similarly, mm. If, 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 if a woman, you can love a woman or respect a, a, love a woman, but you don't respect a woman, they will, they will not be happy. Mm. Because when you make love to her, it's like you are using my body. Yeah. Mm. So you don't respect me. Wow. So the priorities are therefore different. Yeah. In hey, chapter doctor. seven, Doc, right. um, related to Nandip's question before, mm -hmm. uh, you asked the question, what you must, or it's not a question, it's a statement, what you must know about your partner before getting married. Yes. And these are the people who want to get married, who've got the desires mm -hmm. to get married. Uh, we've already dealt with the issue that, hey, not everyone is for marriage or marriage is not for everybody. Mm. Some people will not get married. Mm. I mean, if we look at just male, female statistics, the truth is, yes. then according to the numbers, not everyone will get married unless we make polygamy a, a norm. But yes. anyway, I will get to that. <laughs> <I will> get <laughs> but what, what are the, some of the things you strongly believe that we, we should be getting to know uh, about each other as partners before jumping into marriage? Of course, you will never know someone completely, but there are definite conversations that you declare must be had before marriage. I, I think the first, mm. first thing, Mapoloba, is to know someone. Mm. Do you know the person that you're talking mm. to, that you want to commit to? Mm. Most people, that's why I say, most people in relationships are strangers. They assume to know each other, yes. but they don't. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you need to know the person that you are dealing with Absolutely. and know yourself mm. to say, I will say, I will say, I want someone who is not cheating sexually. Yes. But there, are, I define eight types of cheating. You'll find this person. Yes, this is in uh, chapter eight. Yeah, mm. they waste the when you. There are people who love the concept of marriage, mm. but they don't love the person that they're married to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love. So you are cheating. It mm. carries the same way as sexual cheating. Yes. And when you talk about. Uh, I love the kids than the person that I'm married to. I love what he bought or what mm. she bought for me. More than, than them. More than them. So you need to know to say, learn to know the, the, the person that you're going to commit. Yes, what is the yes, real sir. character? Be Forget how I'm dressed, what I'm smelling, uh, good or bad, whether what, what I'm driving, the green, blue, mm, mm, mm. red card that I'm swiping. Who is me? Mm. Mm, what is mm, the, my mm. level of maturity? Sure. My, my concern when I see someone that will say, I love this person, is the mindset. Wow. Wow. Because yeah. that's a time bomb. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. If I've got absolutely. An, a, an instable mindset, then I've got a problem. It's going to implode. It's and just a matter of time. Once I'm angry, then we run on the street, we are running, we are fighting on the street. There is a problem with the level of maturity. Mm. Your concern should be the level of maturity in a person. Mm. Forget about what they are wearing. I Comes hear, next. I hear you, doctor. Because therefore, you will be able to see kindness, you will be able to see love, you will be able to see consider, being considerate. Mm. Someone who will, be, who will be able to listen to you. Mm. Mm. Most people don't listen, they want to be listened to. Mm. They talk 24 hours, but then they don't have two seconds to listen to someone. Sure. Mm. And listening is a skill. Mm. Yeah. Because therefore, it makes you the, have the ability to know someone better. Mm. Mm. That's where kindness starts from. Mm. So that's why I, I argue in the book to say, what is the foundation of your marriage your or marriage. relationship? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You see, in this second or some shut away. Mm. What are you made of? So if the foundation is made on lies, it will mm. never last. If it was made on the basis of saying you love the, the car I'm driving, when the car is gone, the love is gone. Mm. 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 Because mm. your foundation is made on an asset. Mm. My goodness. Doctor, you, you mentioned about four times that you must learn to the person. You must learn the, 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 the partner that you're considering yes. getting into marriage with. I want to know, how do you learn a person when you are not staying with them? What, what is your thought around um, cohabitation? 
mm. any thoughts on that as a christian what you, are your thoughts around that look you need to spend as much time as you can with someone right okay. make time for each other all right uh take time mm. the, the the mistake that we make sometimes is especially uh, culturally or in, in churches we say you must quickly get married this age yeah. someone says mm. to me is there a certain age through which you must marry i said no okay why because learning someone takes time mm. but also you can learn someone when you're already in a relationship so it depends mm. yeah. now the other thing is someone will say it is wrong for someone to get married at 14 someone mm. will say yes yeah. someone will say no yeah someone will say when you are 35 you must get married mm. now when i think when isaac married uh, was it sarah or i can't remember you, abraham you, yeah abraham yeah. yes the lady was for 14 yes abraham was Very 45 young. or 44 mm. yes. yes in real times they'll say it's not acceptable yeah mm. Statutory but rate. the majority <laughs> level at 14 might be applicable to marriage mm. because the values and principles are there. Mm. Now I'll look at, I'll, I'll say you are 39, but the principles and values are not there. Mm. Mm. So you see the imbalance. Mm. I, see. Mm. Mm. I see. So it goes with the level of maturity to say, can this person build a relationship? Is this person relevant to the relationship? Mm. Are they worthy? Are they adding? What is the value? That's why I discussed to say, what is your return on investment in your relationship? Mm. What value is coming in, into the relationship? My mm. God. No, so if the uh, value is zero, mm. so your waste is like watering a dead plant. I'm taking yeah. you back. Mm. Yeah. You see how beautiful you are. If you see a relationship downgrading you, then it's not it's a wrong relationship yeah. it's the wrong person for you thank you that's for why that. i talk about wrong partner yeah. wrong husband yeah uh, wrong girlfriend let's talk about it people mm. must learn to talk and you wrote a book uh, on yeah that's the next yes. book that you wrote book. yes uh, what is the wrong husband wife partner let's talk yes. about it that's the second book by dr mashudum bits uh and in in this book you assert that it is definitely possible to be married to the wrong person. Yes. Yeah. Now that's a conversation we are not willing to have as Christians <laughs> because listen, once I'm married mm. till death do us part. Mm. So this uh, discussion of umuntu wrong or right, abanya once you've married them, they are right now. Forget about <laughs> what's wrong or right. <laughs> Tell me about your thesis behind this book, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, most people most people are married to the wrong wrong partners My wives goodness. and husbands that's why the divorce rate is high i was also married <laughs> to a wrong partner myself. yeah <laughs> otherwise that's i would not be divorced <laughs> yeah because you got the wrong person <laughs> My goodness. because remember marriage or relations don't have a preview yeah mm. if there was a preview then you will choose better Hey, my because dog. you have seen what you like. Yes, you, acceptable yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, for instance, <laughs> if a marriage had an expiry date, or if a relationship had an expiry date, would you renew it like the, the disc of a car? Guys, most people say no. This is the question, can, can ladies and gentlemen. This, again, is <laughs> this is the question. Please ask the question. If, if, if a marriage certificate had an expiry date, like a disc of a car, oh would you goodness. renew it? Or if a relationship at an expiry date, mm. would you, renew, would you it? renew it? If God was to come today and say, uh, all of you, commiso, uh, I'm resetting everything. Start, <laughs> do you go back to your partner or leave? Mm. Jesus. Some people will live through the roofing. <laughs> <laughs> They'll so, leave I, I'm interested <laughs> to know where you stand with that question. If marriage had an expiry date, would you, would you continue? Would you renew it? Where do you stand, doctor? It's, it's unfortunate to say, all of us have got performance contracts where we work. Yeah. Mm. But marriage or relations don't have a performance contract. Mm. That's a very interesting so depend, you know? <laughs> depending on the t performance contract, mm. I will renew it. If not, I will not. Okay. Depending on what I've seen. Yeah. Oh my stand with <laughs> Yo, my so with me, this I'll renew so it. Interesting. So with me, I'll renew it because I'm happy, it's fine. It yeah. depends. Yeah, but now. Depending on the KPIs, key performance indicator to <laughs> yes. say, and daughter will achieve one, two, three. But therefore, I think in terms of the marriage vows, yeah. 
they have to be amended mm. because you can't say in sickness and in health in suffering no i mean i'm going to back yes so and easy now and God. then on the other side you say in sickness there yeah. is medical I remember the vows were made before there was medical yes, yes yes i'm limited if you are sick mm. what do i do because <laughs> i must take you to the hospital mm. if you die here then it's a police case to say yeah possibly you killed him or her mm. you see my goodness so if the in in case of sickness if you i can afford to give you what i will mm. but if there's medical aid is none of my business <laughs> you must go and consult because you've got medical aid yeah. so vows have to be wow. amended but i can't subject myself to suffering if when now you want to be in suffering uh, and easy <laughs> and easy <laughs> i want to be richer yes <laughs> yes so so um, um, i mean my mind yeah <laughs> is stuck on this thing that i still believe marriage to be this forever idea yeah i'm that's late mosena no I, 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 and i know i divorced <laughs> you know it's it's a contradiction yeah but I still believe it's it's a forever but I want to know where, you, where you stand with, with this, this. this is a very interesting and, and this is what I'm I'm explaining and, and you must also speak to Abanda say exactly. out there to to comment on this one to say <laughs> where do you guys stand will you renew your 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 yeah. your should, marriage should Aaron Mutswele put yeah. uh, the minister of home affairs should he put in a clause for renewal or expiry yeah. on marriage certificates yes. and w- what would you be so I'm saying I'm stuck on this idea that marriage is forever mm. it, it, and it's, it's romantic it's nice it, mm. but but the conversation we are having is is forcing us to talk about the fact that it might not be practical it, it, it's yeah. it's idealistic the, the question is it's would romantic. you marry the same person, same person in yeah. your second life mm. would you fall in love with the same person in future mm. if you knew who they are now mm. I think uh, mm. viewers will be able to answer. Yeah, that. yeah. And yes. people evolve. Sometimes you marry a person being a nice person mm. and uh, a few years down the line they are strangers. They've completely changed. Mm. And therefore I I I agree with you doctor that I honestly wish or hope that this is something that would be considered to say that marriages <laughs> should be renewable to say maybe after like Sia was saying earlier after mm. 5 years. Uh. <laughs> You decide if you want to continue automatically after five years. It ends, I, I think saying, it's an it's issue of saying people must be able to say, "I, me, I'm tired. Mm. Mm. This is not working." Mm. I think that's the best thing you can do. You don't need an institution to change your life. Mm. Remember, when I say I love you, we are going to formally get married. Already, we are married. Yeah. We are valid. Just that's just validation. Okay. Meaning so, that the signing is validation. Yeah, it's validation. Mm. You already love each other. They're already emotionally and intimately right. married. Right. Okay. But you'll find that the marriage certificate is there, but you are emotionally divorced. Mm. So where are you? You are physically there. That's why most. Wow. That's why I talk on the last chapter. I talk about uh, emotional cheating. To say mm. I make love to you, but in my mindset, I'm thinking of someone, of someone else. else. And I, I praise you to an extent that I think that I, everything and God and diamonds are here. Mm. But I'm thinking of someone else. Which hmm. is a sad, sad reality, very dog. Sad. In, in, very, in the very first chapter, you, you, open, in other ways. you open mm. talking about the characteristics of the wrong partner, wrong wife, wrong husband. Mm. Now, people who are listening are definitely interested on this one to say, what are the characteristics of this wrong person, this wrong spouse? Uh, I think you spoke about someone being kind and mm. the, some who has you can check some mm. of the characters some of, mm. some people who are very stubborn you can check some of the key points we'll talk about yeah. them. but the main issue is if you get someone who cannot respect you understand you or love you mm. you've got a wrong person yeah people who are yeah. too selfish uh, people who, who, who a mama's baby who, who cannot stand who don't, don't have a, a backbone mm. Mm. you see when we are married we should be able to consult with each other mm. but the problem is when there is a third party that's why i talk about the marriage trilemma mm. to say once you've got society churches a family and friends mm. but where do you fit in as partners mm. or spouses sure. you should be able to take your own decisions mm. you are the final people to t- live your life mm. and take your decision yes we have got family they are part of you mm. but you are, but if i can, there are p- partners or spouses who don't listen to each other but they prefer to listen to friends mm. they prefer sure. to listen to their m- 
parents mm. to say you can't tell me anything. Mm. Mm. My parents say this is how we do things in this way. There are people who want to be champions of other people's relationships. Mm. Yet they themselves failed in their own standing. Mm. Wow. But we don't deny that there are certain people who are not married but can give you good advice. Mm. But there are certain people who want to be referees in other people who will tell you that this is how you must dress, what you must eat, what you must do in your own <laughs> hey, house. I'm laughing at the referees. <laughs> which, is none, which is none of their hey. business. Yeah. Mm. Forgetting that they have to respect your relationship. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Wow. One of the things you mentioned is that you say... Um, the field of, of psychology proposes the following signs indicating that you're married to the wrong person. Number one is you're always sad. Mm. Some so, people can't yeah. remember when they were last happy. <sighs> when was the last time that you took each other out? My goodness. Uh, you end up saying, I can't take my partner out because it's like I'm making a takeaway of my problem. Mm. 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 There are mm. people who are lonely whilst their partners are there. Mm. Mm. There are people who are longing for love, attention, mm. and respect, but their partners are there. Mm. So wow. that's why I'm saying, what is the, your role in your, play your role yeah. in your relationship? Yeah. Learn to deal with your issues. We don't say marriage is going to be healthy and 100%, no. Mm. But have the ability to communicate and deal with your issues. Communicate mm. and understand each other. Mm. Sure. respectfully so that's mm. right mm. and then you, you you the third point here about one of the, the signs of being married to the wrong person you talk about the fact that fights and disagreements are a regular thing but also you 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 very importantly here which is a very big topic you both have conflicting priorities that's why sure. i said marriage is like driving Hard. in one car going different directions mm. You'll have, mm. I'll have financial priorities of building a relationship. The other mm. partner will not mm. do so. Mm. I'll have priorities of saying this is what we want to achieve. Mm. But we are doing things differently. Mm. But we are living the same life. Mm. So what is it that we'll achieve at the end of the year? It will be zero. Mm. Because we are not going anywhere. Yeah. So my priorities is like, I'm going to Deben, you are going to Cape Town, I'm going to Limpopo. But therefore, when do we reach our destination because our priorities are different, mm. financially, sexually, respectful, yeah. all those kind of blocks. Mm. We are not reaching anywhere. Powerful ah, stuff. Mm. Oh, a very controversial one, that's it by is, little talk. It Uti, is. another sign yeah. is when you are into someone else. Yes. You are in love with someone else while you're you married. Are married while you are married. You are married, but it's a you, sign. Are, yeah, you are into someone else. That's why most of the time when people make love, they think of someone else. Sure. To Stingers. reach climax. Mm. So it's an issue of saying, oh. <laughs> uh, there are people who say, for instance, we have got love in a relationship. Mm. but they don't have friendship. That's why when there are challenges, they call someone else or they text someone else. Mm. There are certain people who don't have friendship in a relationship. Mm. It's like, I love you, but I'm not into you. I can't feel you. Okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> so what do you do when feelings are gone? When someone makes love to you, it's like they're abusing you. Mm. Because you are not into them. Mm. So what do you do? Feelings don't eat grass and there's no drive through for feelings. Then what do you do? Are there grounds um, for you as, as, as a counsellor as well to say in instances of this nature, I usually advise couples to just go their separate ways? Important question. <laughs> Important remember, question. if you have done whatever you can to address issues and there is no remedy or if the other partner does not want to change okay. in making things, making things better, mm. then there is a problem. You have gone into counseling, you have engaged family, then the person does not want to change. What do you do? You what leave. do you do? I leave. So you decide because you are the one in a relationship. But now, if you, if you are there to, it depends to say, were you there to build a relationship or you wanted what you want, then you want to leave. Mm. Sure. Convenience or love. Yeah. Mm. So it depends on the or to say what is the objective of yeah. you being in a relationship yeah. mm. what is the what is it that you want to achieve in your relationship That's right, sir. Mm. you see mm. so it's a two way process if there are things if the relationship is now abusive then it's no longer safe for you and the kids if any mm. then it's not worth living for mm. you can't therefore say tell 
death doers part mm. because the other person is abusing and you every day knowing that you won't go anywhere mm. then it's not worth it mm. my goodness as long as your life is at stake then it's not worth it it's not worth it wow i know this book is for everybody but i want to highly recommend it for people who are not yet married mm. who are going to marry it is for everybody i know but if you uh, not yet married, you're going to jump in. The, 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 the gems and the tools that are in here are amazing. Minimizing the risks. Minimizing your risks. Yes. Do your best, at mm. least. You can't avoid everything 100% because mm. we don't know the future. We can't preview, like you said, Doctor. Mm. Now, in Chapter 4, <laughs> something very serious here, you talk about secrets yes. in marriage. Mm. Keeping secrets. Mm. Should we keep secrets or should we not keep secrets? Should we be telling each other everything or not? I, and I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Mm. <laughs> I don't even answer yet. <laughs> there are 38 categories of secrets in terms of psychology. There are yeah. those to keep. Okay. They say uh, you have got about plus minus 38 secrets that you mm. have. 15 of which you carry on a daily basis. Five or three to five which you will never told anyone. Mm. There are those to keep and those that you are not supposed to keep. Yes, in a relationship. Mm. Your 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 private personal history, whatever happened in before mm. to say sexually or intimately, this is what happened. Mm. It's your secret. Mm. It has nothing to do with the next person. You, you 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 don't think that's important knowledge for your partner to understand your your relationship history, your sexual history. You can, history? but you can't go into detail to say this is how mm. I used to feel when I was with someone, <laughs> yes. and you are not doing this. So why not? Why don't you go to yeah. that person? Where do I fit in? Yes, sir. <laughs> you I see, you. so you can't be telling the mm. oh, he used to do the also, she used to do this. So, why am I there? Mm. Why goodness. am I there? And easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, family issues have got nothing to do with your, with your relationship unless mm. it impacts on your relationship. Mm. So, there are certain secrets that, but financial issues have to be disclosed. Yeah. There are certain issues that you have to disclose to your partner. If it's health issues, mm. sexually, then if it, it, because definitely if you're not using protection, it will affect you. Yeah. So there are certain issues that you may, but you need to know to say, in, in you disclosing the secrets, mm. is that person worthy to disclose to? To, mm. yeah. Because... I might be in love with you, but you might not be trustworthy to an extent that I can't tell you certain things. Yeah, mm. Can I trust you? Mm. Because telling secrets goes to the, with the level of trust. The trust yes. But therefore, there are certain secrets that, you, that, that builds your self-esteem and respect. Mm. It's, it's, it, for instance, if you are walking on the street and everyone knows everything about you, how will yeah. they respect you? Yeah, you see, yeah. Yeah. So certain issues have got nothing to do with other people. Mm. But in a relationship, there are certain issues that you can disclose and those that you can't. Mm. Wow, that's important. Lastly, for my side, because I don't know about you. Yeah. Culture, in the, our context, African culture, with marriage. Yes. You've touched on some things that can affect it, but a, a, a big controversial issue in, in our circles is polygamy mm -hmm. as a type of marriage or a type of an alternative family setup. Mm -hmm. With that, polyamory and polyandry mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on some of those things, including open marriages? I mentioned four of them, but yes. you know, we will, let's kick off with the whole... Uh, they are all there in my book. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There is nothing <laughs> wrong with polygamy. Mm. Uh, as long as you can manage to finance or run your life. Mm. I see. There's nothing wrong with traditional Christianity less that day. Mm. The problem is the person applying it. Who's behind it? Mm. Mm. If I if if I mean I, I want to take two, four, it doesn't matter how many wives, but I should follow proper protocols yes. of informing the first wife to say this is what I want to do. Yes. Engaging family, yeah. doing all the traditional things that you have to do. There's nothing wrong with that. I hear you. <laughs> the, the person is, is the same as saying I'm a Christian, I can't be romantic to my partner. Mm. Or I'm a Christian, I can't touch, I'm a traditional person, I can't touch the panties of my woman. Mm. Yet I'm married. Mm. I'm married, but I can't buy the, 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 the lilies for my wife. Mm. Yes. 
Then you are saying to me, when you make love, you're the first to remove the uh, underpants. Mm. But you're saying I can't touch them. Then there's, there's something wrong with yeah. that. Mm. I say to s- some of my friends, who of you can buy Lilas for a wife? Mm. Some says I can't. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't be able to pay for that. Sure. Oh, okay. It's so embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Yeah, but yeah. therefore, that is your wife. Mm. Yeah. But therefore, it is wrong to say always that you know that you need those things, a woman, but you always say you, you discharge that responsibility to me. Mm. But I can do that sometimes. You see, don't use culture mm. to run away from your responsibility. That's right, sir. Mm of yeah. playing your role as a woman or as a wife. Mm, mm. Learn to respect and love someone, but don't use them through culture or Christianity mm. to say, I can't be yeah. romantic. Uh, some will say, I can't. Uh, when I listen to my wife, it's like I'm uh, lowering my standard of being a man. Yeah. Mm. But there are certain women also, sorry to say, who are very stubborn, who want to be men, in a setup of in a household mm. that they want to control everyone because they control some some other people where they come from yeah mm. but they want to control you so it depends on the level of respect mm. there's nothing wrong with tradition mm. but the problem is the person applying it mm. oh. Whoa, oh, doctor, yeah, you've, said a, you've said a mouthful. Yeah, absolutely. La, the, my very last uh, question, or rather, is it a comment? No, it's a question. How would you advise me? Me, being somebody who is a divorcee, who loves the idea of, of marriage um, and would like to get married again mm-hmm. one day in future. Me, being somebody who's representing a whole lot of other people who are listening to this uh, podcast or who are watching this channel mm-hmm. uh, through YouTube. How would you advise this person been married before, would like to get married again. What is it that I should look out for? Uh, what is it that, I, I think you've mentioned some of those, mm. uh, but it, it doesn't hurt to say it again because I don't want to get married to divorce again. Mm. Hey, mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't go through that hell again. Does. I mm. cannot. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Look, marriage, marriage is beautiful. Mm. Uh, so, sometimes, remember, uh, uh, there's what we call the learning zone. Uh, oh. I don't know which chapter it is. Or is on this one to say there are four zones that I discuss. Okay. Okay. To say there's what we call the learning zone, whereby mm. you are afraid of what people say. Mm. And whatever people say affects you. Mm. Then there's what we call uh, the, growth, the zone. growth zone. When you function in the growth zone, you don't care who says what. You understand that you know who you are. Yes. Mm. You are confident. Mm. Mm. It doesn't matter whether people say, remember, whatever people say, bad or good, defines what to govern our people. That's right. Mm. That's the definition of that. Thinking. And it's none of my business. It's none of your business. <laughs> Mina, you can insult me today. I, that's your problem. Yes. I've got better things to do. Mm. But someone will say, no, you can't mm. do that to me. Mm. But you'll find that person is a Christian. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Learn to understand that you'll be insulted. Mm. They will say whatever they, but know where you stand. Mm. So, whatever you want to achieve is all about you. Mm. Nothing is impossible. The problem is don't be stuck in the past. Yeah. Yes. Don't be offload your garbage and say, I want to be better. But don't set standards that will be that will chase people, good people away. Yes. Mm. Don't Stop making comparison to say, I had this person like this, now I want this. Mm. Learn, reset your life and say, this is who I am, this is what I want. Amazing. But have a benchmark to say, I can't lower my standard to accept nonsense or beautiful yes. nonsense. Mm. <laughs> beautiful nonsense. But <laughs> learn to grow to say, this is what I want to achieve. Yeah. And this is who me. You'll find the best friend in your life. Thank you, doctor. Wow. Thank you. I, 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 I think I'm well equipped and ready. <laughs> what what an educational episode. This mm. <laughs> we are enriched. Mm. Uh, we are equipped mm. to be better yes. in relationships, in marriage going forward, and just to think differently. Yeah. This is what I liked about Dr. Mbit when I saw him first. The the different approach, and this is what we're all about on the Christian podcast. Mm. Having discussions and conversations that no one wants to have and talk about, but they affect us on a real, real level. Mm. Uh, Doctor, uh, I have no words to say thank you. It's been an amazing honor to have you. It's been uh, a very educational uh, period of time that we've had. Mm. Uh, these ones, I am buying 
saying they are mine, they are staying here. Also, I'm not These two. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Mbezi has been doing marriage counseling since 1992. That's 31 years. Yes. Uh, he is available as a keynote speaker, um, as a marriage seminar uh, uh, a speaker, motivational speaker, singles and group counseling, coaching and development, editing and publishing services as well, uh, and also academic papers. And his books are available uh, mm -hmm. to be ordered as well. The mm -hmm. first book that we looked at today is entitled Married but Intimately Divorced. The second one is called Wrong Partner, Wrong Wife, Wrong Husband, etc. Um, to contact Dr. Mashudu Mbezi, you can email him and we'll put the details on the screen. Yeah. Is mashududavid.mbezi929 uh, at gmail.com. And uh, we'll also put all his details, his numbers. He's available on social media as well. Um, and uh, you can see what he's up to. Um, I think uh, it's every Tuesday that you're on um, Radio 2000. Uh, I do a lot of radio stations. Yeah, a lot, radio, a lot, yeah. A, a lot of uh, 2007. Yeah. Or two, yes. Big Walla Walla, uh, Amazing. Uh, woman radio for Mam Yuvan Chaka Chaka. Ah. It's, it's a lot of them. Yes, so sir. I think uh, the best thing I can say is get the books. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, sub support me so that I can keep on talking. Uh, I remember, I talk on prepaid. <laughs> yes. So get the books. Uh, it, yes. it, the, the good thing about the books is that you don't have to read from the first page to the last one or okay. chapter okay. to understand. You can read from any chapter going backwards. And you can understand. Each and every chapter is uh, is a standalone. Ah. So it's an easy read. And there are recommendations from psychologists globally. Yes, sir. To say these are the issues, what you what you must do in if you are faced with one, two, one, two, three. Yes. And this book is is for anyone married, divorced, mm. coming back. Uh, it's for you. <laughs> uh, those who are single. Yes. Uh, I'll say it's a dictionary of life. It's a Bible of dictionary Absolutely. of life. Absolutely. Because it, it makes you realize who you are and that which you want to achieve. Mm. But to the viewers, I'll say. Uh, just love yourself and accept who you are. Yes. Say yes. your life is not a mistake. Yeah. Mm. And you don't owe anyone any explanation. But whatever you wow. want to achieve in life, you can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, whether you are married 25 times, 65 times, <laughs> it takes time. You can kiss 20 frogs to get to the best one. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes our lives are different. Mm. I normally say God, God gave us our own channels of life mm. and sometimes what we face might be worth it because we are on a good path to get what we, whatever we want to achieve mm. if 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 your level of achievement is 200 percent don't expect challenges to come at 10 percent mm. 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 so they will come at the level of that which you are supposed to achieve mm. and life sometimes will be ruthless to you because that which you are supposed to achieve, the power in you and the ability in you is more than what you know. Yeah. Mm. So don't expect the devil to be kind to you. Sometimes I say we need the devil so that we can see the power of God. Amen. Praise God. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, uh, Doctor. Appreciate it. That's mm. what a wonderful episode. It was. Amazing, amazing. I enjoyed this. Yes, Thank you so much, yes. Doctor. Thank you so much for joining us today as well, you listening and watching. Uh, amazing stuff. Get hold of the books. Get hold of Dr. Mbezi. Mm. And uh, I be believe you me. You've heard for yourself. You're going to be a much better person. Mm. Yeah, but I, I don't want to divorce. I don't want to find out I married the wrong person. <laughs> you won't. After reading that book, after, you will not. After these, you're minimizing yes the chances. It, yes <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We Goodbye. love you. Goodbye. Cheers.